couple for net rushing, because if, if you guys are gonna go, um, which by the way, I, I think it's really important that it's, it's not major realistic to tell your kids they're gonna be on the pro tour, but that they can get a full ride education in the US to the colleges, that's easy. And then that saves you a ton of money. Well, when, when my daughter stopped playing, um, she broke her wrist at 16, so she took a full scholarship at USC. It saved me $60,000 a year. She got an apartment on the beach in Hermosa. She had a full-time tutor to go to her classes for her. She got full first pick in every class, so she didn't have to take you know, pottery. Get in, get out. So yeah, that's the plan. Send your kids off to the U.S. and you and you can go to the beach. Send them to the school. Um, anyway, how to be net rushers? The, the reason why I said that is your kids have to be able to play doubles. Make sure they're doing a lot of doubles. Um, one and two are very similar. Depth is important and getting 70% first serves in if you're getting beat by a good net rusher. How come 70% is so important against a net rusher? They can't say it again? Yeah, right on. That's their, your weak second serve is their ticket to the net, right? If you're, so if you're missing a lot of first serves, they're coming <laughs> in. You gotta keep them back. The third one's really interesting for me. It's let them volley on the way in. You guys all know the transition game is when they hit a ball from the baseline and they're coming into the net. When they're running in, have your students or juniors jump the ball low at their feet. Don't try to hit a winner on the first shot. Jump it low at their feet. They'll pop up an easy ball and you'll have the easiest pass on the second. The last thing, number four, if you have skills, is capture the net first. Net rushers hate it if you get there first. Now they have to stay back and they need skills. So 